Never, ever, ever feel bad about leaving a job for another job. Ever. Okay? If anyone ever even mumbles the phrase job hop, job hopping, job hopper, or anything like that to you, just hang up on them. They don't know what they're talking about. So, when you take on a position, you are accepting a certain amount of pay to do a certain thing for a company so you're providing them value and they pay you for it and it's that simple and a lot of times when you're hired the uh, pay level and the skills required to do so let's say it's about here is probably you're you're probably in this range you know you you the value you bring to the table hopefully uh matches or exceeds that amount because if it's kind of lower than this like if your skills aren't up to par for the job that you're taking, that gap there is going to be really challenging. You're gonna be stressed in that job position. Over time though, what's gonna happen is that gap will close. You'll become competent as you understand the domain knowledge for the job, for the industry that you're in, the skills used therein. Um, over time, that gap closes. You'll feel comfortable working there. But as that gap closes, the knowledge gap, the value you bring to the company also goes up, right? eventually it reverses and it inverses right so not only are you competent for the job but your value actually goes above what you're being paid because you can not only do that you can do more than what you were hired for so you go to your employer you let them know hey I'm capable of more is there another responsibility I can take on um, is there a way to be promoted in this position to move up the chain if you will um, and sometimes they say yes, and that's great. And sometimes they say no, whatever. Uh, if there is no path for you to get that promotion or to get paid more for the value of your skills, then you're going to start looking for more work because you are capable of doing more. And you don't want to be sitting around stacking blocks all day because that's the equivalent of what you're doing. If you have mastered the skill, you're going to get bored doing it. And you're probably going to want to move to something a little bit more challenging to just keep your mind from going insane. And that's understandable. But also, the value you're bringing to that company is more than what you were initially hired for. Okay, you want to get paid for what you're worth. This is why companies used to do all kinds of promotions, you know, when your annual review comes up. What happens? They take you into a little office, they say, good job, slugger, and they give you a little bit of a raise because they want to keep you around. Right? Sometimes it's a lot of bit of a raise. Who knows? Maybe nowadays it's none a bit of a raise. But the point is, if they want to hold on to your talent, they'll pay you to keep you around. It's actually in their best interest to keep you around because it's more expensive to try to hire someone again. Totally. But are companies doing that? are they? Uh, what people have figured out is that it's actually more beneficial for you as a worker to just get a different job. You're going to get paid what you're worth more likely by moving somewhere else than by taking those incremental raises over time. The company is, so your skills are here, what you're getting paid are here. The company is very rarely going to close that gap and meet you where you are. Most likely, you're going to have to leave to get paid what you're worth, okay? And that's just the name of the game right now. Maybe that'll change in the next 20 years. Maybe. You know, maybe companies will figure out that this high turnover rate isn't ideal, that it costs more money to then hire and retrain and lose that knowledge that that employee has just because they won't pay you a little bit more now that you're worth more. And you actually have to be worth more, okay? Don't just go to them and... Be like, I need more money now. Like, you gotta have some, some ammo. <laughs> Let's say, uh, a reason to get paid more. Sure, sure. I mean, keep it fair across the board. I get that. But right now, it's not where we're at. Right now, it's it's kind of like employees are are single serve. You know, <laughs> the the company hires you. They get what they want out of you, and they don't care about giving promotions. Okay, all right. Good for them. Uh, I'm going to find a job that treats me better. I'm going to find a job that uh, pays me what I'm worth. And I'm going to feel no shame about that because I'm taking care of me. I'm taking care of my family. And the company is taking care of itself. It doesn't care about you. It's the, the, the secret that no one wants to admit is that the company will be fine when you go.
All right? I don't know why that's a secret. No one wants to admit. I didn't phrase that right, but you get what I'm saying. The company will be just fine when you're gone. They're going to find someone to fill it. It's going to be okay. Uh, but you need to go out and get what you're worth. You need to take care of you. Find that job that will pay you what you're worth. Find that thing that challenges you and, and helps you grow, not only as a person, but as, as a skilled worker. You, know, the, you don't want to stagnate. And you deserve something better. So I've, I've never been a fan of that term, job hopping. What are, what are you talking about? You, if you're a fast learner, if you're someone who grows quickly, who puts in extra time after work to develop more skills, you're going to quickly outgrow wherever you are. And that's good. It's like a goldfish, right? It grows too big for its cage. Maybe that's a bad example. All the goldfish I've ever had stay the same size, so I've never really understood that. But the idea is that a goldfish would grow to fill its fish tank, right? And then you have to put it in a bigger fish tank. That's exactly what you are if, if you're someone who learns quickly, who is constantly pushing themselves to grow. You're going to grow out of a job position very fast. And so you stay at a place for one year, you find a new place and you stay there for a year and you find a new place. And sometimes it's longer than that. And a lot of people are like, oh, average, you stick around two years and then look for a new, new work and whatnot. Well, if you're able to do a more advanced job, uh, to work in a more advanced position, why would you not shoot your shot? Go apply to those positions. And if you get it, that's awesome. Why not? move on it's it's like asking my three-year-old to do something that's challenging for my one-year-old yeah you know, the three-year-old has mastered this thing the three-year-old is bored just constantly doing the same thing over and over okay it's the same thing for you in that position once you've grown past it and beyond that the the pay the compensation the money that you're getting sometimes your needs exceed what you're being paid that's why you got two jobs right but say you want to go down to one job well you've got to job hop to a better job okay sometimes you're at a job position and you're gonna have another kid and so you go to management and you're like i'm gonna need some more money eventually because hey this kid's on the way where can i go and they'll either give you an option or you'll make an option and go find a new place because your needs change over time too. It's not just a, a mental challenge that you're looking for. It's also your needs that need to be sustained, cared for, and accommodated. So I've, I've never understood that as a negative job hopping. What does that mean? It's like a, a deplorable title put on you because you didn't have company loyalty. I'm like, what company loyalty? The company's not loyal to me. I'm just trying to take care of myself and my family. I'm going to go do that. You'll be fine. Ugh, it's, it's total BS. Never, ever, ever feel bad for taking on a new job. Never, okay? Go out and get yours. Have a good day.